<laughs> Aloha from the Big Island. On this week's episode of It's 420 Somewhere, we've got Cody from CBD for Life. We've got Soul Medic, reggae artist. Russell Ruderman, the Hawaiian Senator. And Uncle Coleco, Hawaiian medicine man. Stay tuned, it's 420 Somewhere. Well, aloha, my name's Cody. I just moved back to Big Island and I'm actually going to be selling my CBD products here. CBD is a, a product that is derived from the hemp or the marijuana plant. My product is derived from the hemp plant. So it's non-psychoactive, no THC. It activates the endocannabinoid system that already exists in your body. So it's basically nature helping you heal. It's the future of healing. So um, I do it to help others and to promote a different lifestyle a different way of living your life instead of taking medications every day. Excellent. It's 420 somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so Soul Medic, tell me how has ganja affected your creativity on your music? How has it influenced you? Well, my music is very, very ganja fueled. You know, my music is all about freedom and it's the freedom of oneself and, you know, unity amongst all people. And ganja seems to be a catalyst for this, you know, it seems to be a catalyst for forward thinking and forward movement. So um, it's definitely a part of my music, you know, a lot of my songs are ganja tunes. A lot of my bigger tunes are ganja songs, you know. Um, but it's always, it's always been a way to, to tap in the antenna, tap into the greater, you know, universal antenna to get the messages that I need. And for, for most people, um, it's a way to, to stop and reflect and take time to just shut up and listen to the to yourself, you know, to listen to God speaking through you and speaking through everything else and, and to get that information and to take it in and, and to, you know, harness it, meditate upon it. Do you think and, that's why it is illegal still, maybe? Um, well, I, I do. I think, I think the main reason it's illegal is because it, it got, it's really hard to control the money that's made off of it. That's one of the main reasons why it's illegal. You know, number one, more than anything, it's, it's because of the industrial hemp. It's because of the food factor. There's, I mean, the, the, the ganja seed is full of like the highest, highest proteins, you know, available to man. And it's just super nutritious. The leaves are super nutritious. The healing of the nations, it's, it's more, more than just the smoke and, and getting people high and getting close to this, because that's all wonderful, but it's more than anything, it's, it, it relieves cancer. It's, it, it's all a thing about money, yeah. I mean, it's higher intelligence. They don't want higher intelligence by any means, but these days, we're going to achieve that, whether it's with weed or without weed. You know, people are going to the stars, you know, and, and that's, that's just the evolution of man. But it's more about... I think is, is, is to lock down the, the money factor, lock down the, the healing factor, because the healing is, is I mean, Rust has been saying forever, it's the healing of the nations, and, and, it's, and it is, it brings everybody together, it heals the whole world. Soul Medic Day, I want to tell you, it's 420 somewhere, and right now we're out here on the Big Island of Hawaii, saying, I love you, my Mary, your loving so sweet, girl, you make me complete, well, anytime you come around, me go turn up the heat. Want you find the hour every day of the week. Love you, my Mary. Your loving so sweet, girl, you make me complete. Anytime you come around, me go turn up the heat. Want you find the hour every day of the week. I love her cashmere kush, high grade looks, and the way she has set it. She has never asked to. She had the girl me the scout, the cookie she the push, she had the queen for the jungle on a rookie one look. Blaze or cook it, straighten up the crooked and take it. One look at the beauty, one pull it soft like a cushion. He's straight like a bullet to earth. The roots put it by heaven. She looking. It's 420 <laughs> 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 I'm State Senator from the Pune District here in the Big Island. Yeah, we're just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the legalities of marijuana use in Hawaii, medicinal or recreational. Okay. Well, recreationally, it's still uh, illegal. Um, medicinally, we were the first state to pass a medicinal marijuana law about 15 years ago, but we did not provide any um, mechanism for obtaining it. Mm -hmm. There was no dispensary system or no 
legal import or seed system. So it was all under the table, don't look, don't tell kind of. Um, we, a couple of years ago, finally passed a mar medical marijuana dispensary bill, and we're hoping the first dispensaries will open in the next few months, um, with, with some on each island within a year, I think. It's very restrictive at this point. We passed a bill, we, the legislature, passed a bill telling the Department of Health to please make medical marijuana available in a safe way. I believe someone along the way misinterpreted it as saying, let's please make it as hard to get as possible. And that's not what our intent was. Mm -hmm. Our intent was to make it available as a medicine. So it's problematic right now because they've taken a very draconian approach where it's the most dangerous thing in the world and we have to be super careful who gets it and who, what happens to the extra, and you know, everybody's got to be legit. We have to track it seed to, seed to stem and, you know, all these things that make it so much more complicated than it needs to be which is all, in my personal opinion, a waste of both time and money because in five years it's going to be legal anyway. And all these, all these insane rules are really a waste of time, not just for us as the government, but for people who might need access to medicine as well. So, you know, we're, Hawaii's in a funny situation. We're a little bit bold and a little bit timid at the same time, you know. And I think we're very conservative on the subject of recreational marijuana, surprisingly. Because if you were to, in my opinion, take a poll on the Outer Islands compared to Oahu, you would see that, in my opinion, either of the Outer Islands would vote to legalize it if they had the chance, whereas it's being blocked by a large conservative uh, group of people on Oahu who don't see life the same way as some of us Outer Island people see it. In fact, as a legislator, the last two years I introduced the bill to um, legalize it, but my special idea was give the counties the authority to legalize it if they want. And well, who can just step out of the way and let the big on, just as they've gone first with other issues, let the counties go first. And I will introduce that again this year. Don't expect it to pass, but it's, I just think we're three or four years behind the curve and we're very timid about yeah. pushing the envelope here. What's your personal opinion on the marijuana, please? I don't think marijuana should be illegal. Yeah. I think that I'm a very I'm very pleased that several states have entered the modern era. You know, really this is Nixon's drug war that we're still fighting, and it was a war that was designed to make it easy to arrest blacks and hippies. That's what it was about. And we're still fighting that war, and there's never been any justification for the level of enforcement against marijuana based on its safety, you know. Uh, so if it was up to me, it would be legal, just like it is in many other states. I've. Uh, I'm personally friendly towards it, and I don't have any reason to fear it. I, in fact, have the opposite because, as a longtime Puna resident, you know, when I first moved here, marijuana was a big part of our economy as well as our social culture, especially in Puna and other other rural areas in Hawaii. Then, uh, around maybe 1990, there was a very severe crackdown, or what they call the Green Harvest, or different sorts of uh, helicopter operations to eradicate growing. And for a few years, marijuana became much more scarce and more expensive, and we saw in Pune very clearly and throughout the state an ice epidemic take over. And there's no one who lived through that transition, which was very dramatic, who thinks the ice era was better than the marijuana era. We went from everybody being friendly and having a little bit of money to people wanting to punch each other if you yeah. cross their shadow and, uh, and, and break into your house at night, too, you know? So, yeah, I it's my opinion that there's a certain percentage of population that will want mind-altering experiments, and I think it's best if they're safe and legal. That's perfect. That's it. Thank you so much, Russell. Right. Thank you. 420 somewhere. Yeah, it's a portal. Yeah. There are traditions where it's the portal where you leave your ancestors. around the world too that you know all the young people just got together and smoked in front of the cops and just did it that way it was it was still open yet I mean we just was coming out of uh, the Christian domination of you know you can't drink on Sunday and da 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 nothing wrong with that but it's just when you look at the the brainwash of the whole thing well, it's kind of like wow but to me uh, marijuana for us or cannabis uh, 
uh, helped us because we were violent. Mm. You know, coming out of their timing, the fifties and the sixties, you know, we were like, um, we had to fight uh, White Power, white, you know, all these things which happened around us here. I mean, they used to beat us up and burn our house. Well, we beat them up and burn their house, you know, that kind of thing until we came to, oh, let's make a law against it. You know, oh, we, we, and then they start talking, oh, we're not violent. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> 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 Lying again? Uh, but, um, yeah. and, uh, anyway, as, as time went on, more and more people started to, after their own uh, research, we found out that, yeah, it's a very well, it's a lie, you know. Yeah. And, and we couldn't, it was ridiculous. It was so ridiculous that, you know, um, if you know police, you know, we kind of, kind of ask, ah, you, well, I don't know, I mean, I know it's not, but I kind of fall, you know, it's my job, it's just like, yeah, but, but you know, wow, you know, what? So most of the times they would just ignore it. Because you know, when you're smoking, there's no crime. <laughs> there's no nothing falling now. I mean, drinking, maybe no, we have to you know, really check it out, but you know. But we found that by drinking and smoking, we could control that, that anger that uh, whatever that alcohol brings out in us. So, because for the last seven years, we haven't been harassed by the, the Justice Department or the, the federal uh, people that. Um, that we didn't need an injunction against the, the United States government for, for, for our church, yeah, that we could use it as a sacrament. But already through the, the Indian laws here, you know, sacrament, uh, feathers, all those things are, are under that protection. So that's why peyote and, and um, ayahuasca, all those things can happen. Because they, they don't come from the medicine, they come from the sacrament feed the soul, yeah, because we get everything, almost everything else, the, the mind, the body, and now you got to get the spirit side going, and sometimes you need to have herbal help, you know, because for us, like, you know, when we give uh, oku or gifts on the sacred altars, you know, each one has a covenant, you know, each plant, each, you know, thing that uh, we have between the living God and us, it, uh, it has a covenant between those things, and and this one of them, and we recognize that way back, 1820s, you know, back then, you know, we had them on our altars as as uh, as um, tax, you know, on rock hemp. So as a buds, you know, we're not talking about you know making um, rope, but they were making rope too. But we had the best the best tree ropes in the whole world. We never need hemp, but they brought sisal here and hemp and some other ropes. But. Um, so, you know, cannabis, um, ayahuasca, peyote, you know, whatever the living God has given us, that's what they're giving us for. So you can step out of this, this box they would put us in, this trap. <laughs> like this, mm -hmm. it, um, this trap, they use, you know, we use each other, you know, yeah. to, to keep yourselves in prison. So my cousin, excuse me, always said, uh, still pulling time in the prisons of your mind. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. Yeah. so you just got to, Pro ourselves out, forgive ourselves for even getting there, and, and keep on moving, you know, and you know, just keep positive. All, all I know is that, you know, you can bring it from one week all the way down to five seconds, if you are well. Mm -hmm. You can still come in, so. That's why we use, these are all tools. Once we said using this as something to, uh, what do you call, uh, we need them, or my medicine, you know, it's, it's tools to help us meditate, and and create and you know do those things you know that uh, help the living God help us you know it helps us get ourselves out of our own way and that's what we gotta do most of us it's 420 somewhere and I'm gonna let one right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
when you have nothing else to do, and you just want to be couch low, and you just want to roll your spine out and lay back on that couch and watch some Looney Tunes, that's when you take a dab. And you take a dab, and then you just Looney Tune it out. That's what they're meant for. Thank you. Well, other than that, I would say, uh, you know, smoking here. Weed is definitely very shared around here. Um, weed really brings people together, I would say. I've met so many very close friends off of smoking, you know? I mean, it's something that brings us together and we can share. We can all share and it brings like-minded people into a space that we can all share together. And I really appreciate that. Now it's 420 somewhere.